Hello everyone and welcome back to the cave. It is finally time for part three of my Force Friday 2 haul and I'm really excited to share the exclusive pops with you. I didn't manage to get either of the chase pops in this haul and there's one more exclusive from Box Lunch I'm waiting to get but hopefully in the future I'll be able to find those online. But nonetheless I've got some really cool stuff to show you so let's jump right on in. First up, we've got the flocked version of Chewbacca, who is holding a Porg, and this is actually one of my first flocked pops, and this one was from FYE. Next up, we've got the standard flocked Porg from Hot Topic. Uh, hopefully gonna find the chase variant of it online at some point. Really excited on how these flocked uh, pops are. They're really cool and they're really fuzzy. Next up, we've got the mysterious character that Benicio Del Toro plays, who is simply known as DJ, and this one was a GameStop exclusive. Here is the Resistance BB unit sold at Walmart, and apparently it is also known as 2BB2, according to the internet. Lastly, we've got the Walmart exclusive Princess Leia, and she turned out absolutely great. Really excited to see... Uh, how her character is portrayed in The Last Jedi, and also pretty bummed that it's her last one. There is one more exclusive pop that I have that is not physically here, uh, because it's actually in Michigan, which is a shout-out to my boy Cody for picking this up. Um, it is a Target variant Porg, which looks something like this. And that is it for this week, so on behalf of me and Rolf... What's that, Rolf? You're kidding. No! Rolf says there's more stuff to show you. So in all of the excitement over the past week, I have picked up a couple other things that are really cool that I wanted to show you. This here is the three-pack that just came out not too long ago that includes Tarful, an unhooded version of Emperor Palpatine, as well as an Utapau clone trooper, which was incredibly awesome finding this in-store. Uh, it's a Walmart exclusive. Really excited to pick that up and add it to the collection. On top of all this craziness, my mom and I went to a small town called Coshocton today, and on a whim, I, we went into the Walgreens just to check and see what they had, and I managed to find the prototype Walgreens exclusive of Boba Fett, which was extremely sick. It was the last one they had at the back of the shelf, so I snatched that right up. And last but not least, for sure... I managed to find this Black Series figure, which is the uh, Darth Vader 6-inch uh, figure, which is the Emperor's Wrath variant, which, if you look really closely at it, um, his helmet is slightly transparent, so like in Return of the Jedi, when he picks Palpatine up to throw him down the shaft, and the lightning's affecting him, and it shows off some of his skull and stuff, that's what this is representing, and honestly, I haven't seen one of these in stores, and I didn't even know it existed until today, so I figured what the heck I'd snatch that up to. Alright, so this is the end for real this time, I promise. But uh, I've had a terrific time showing you guys what I've picked up for Force Friday and in the past week. Um, I've gotten some great responses from you guys on stuff you've picked up. Uh, if you haven't hit me up or you haven't commented yet, leave a comment or message me what you thought was the coolest piece of merch that came out for Force Friday this year, or just in general, what's something that's your favorite that's been in the past. So if you like the stuff that I've shown you, go ahead and smash that like button and give me a subscribe as well, and keep up to date with more future stuff that'll be on this channel. Thanks so much, and may the Force be with you. We'll see you next time.